Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is having a good weekend and a good Sunday. Well today we are going to be working on this pattern by Blackbird Designs and it is Tiny Treetops Rose or Time. That's what it says and as you know I have, I have to look at my thing. Here, it'll be just as easy. This is, by the way, sorry, we're just literally backwards today. It's been that kind of a day. From the Sewing Club book, this was well worth buying. I just absolutely adore this book. I just, there. I, I when I open this page, all I want to do is stitch everything that's in here. It's just so sweet and so old-fashioned-y. I just love it. There's not such a word as old fashioned -y, I know. But you know what I mean? It it just bespeaks everything that I'm about. And yeah, the patterns are just totally, totally awesome. Well worth the money. And I think it was like, it was under $20. But there are 16 patterns in here, or projects. And you can do with them whatever you want. But yeah. Just absolutely gorgeous. I, I'm going to go and buy like 900 yards of this material just so that I can make them. So I've been working on this a bit since we started it. What was it on the 22nd? I had to look to see because I hate repeating myself, you know. Now, I'm not real happy with these this color. But we're going to put it in anyway, and hopefully the pattern will um, carry itself, you know what I mean? And then we can start on something else. But I did pick my own colors in this, so I only have myself to blame. But they're kind of close in colors. But, yeah, I had a hell of a time this morning just, just going through stuff and looking at what I wanted to do. I've been all the way from one end of the spectrum to the absolute others. And as you can see, I got my comfy pants on. I am just taking it easy today. I stitched on this a little bit yesterday and the Quaker Christmas one and looked at patterns and all kinds of stuff. I have to see where I'm at. Because I did kind of start at the... I wanted a starting point. So I started where the Y was. But the actual pattern is over here a little bit. So, yeah. Yesterday was pretty boring. I'm mean, Not boring, but... I just chilled. And I stitched on this for a while. And I got these butterflies done. Well, tulips or whatever they are. Tulips, butterflies-ish things. But, so, I was making some progress, and I just kept with it. So I got all the lettering started, and this is actually, I think, the edge of the pattern. So, yeah. It was that kind of a day. We didn't go anywhere. We didn't do anything. I watched floss tubes. I watched people's vlogmas and flossmas and just seeing what everybody was working on. Now, I don't know the difference between vlogmas and flossmas and why they do it, and I don't know when it was started, but to me, it's kind of a, the same principle as, um, what do you call it, Stitch Mania, which is in May. But they do it in December, and everybody works on Christmas projects and stuff. So that's fine. You know, it's just not me. I, I do a stitching video, or try to do a stitching video, um, every day. So that's kind of nothing new to me, but some of these people only put out a video when it's time for their, their uh, floss tube, you know. So, it's a new thing to them. But, uh, yeah. But, anyway, I had a grand time yesterday putting up the, the tree, and I thought I'd share that with you. 
last year I got the tree out. The tree already had its uh, lights on it because that's why I put it away. So, because I'm only living that nightmare once. I don't do so hot at putting lights on. So, we, we took the pains to, to do that just once. And uh, then I put it away just like that. And I have a room where I can just set it and nobody bothers it. Thank goodness I don't have a cat, right? Or that would have been a mess. I'm trying to figure out this pattern here. And so I got all that done. There was a, a rushity in the day of looking for everything. I couldn't find the box of ornament. I didn't even know it was in a box. See, that'll tell you something. But last year, I just couldn't handle it. My mother passed away in, in October. And I just, nope. Yeah, I was not happening for this one. I just couldn't get into it. So, I had it out and plugged it in. And that was all she wrote last year. So, this year I put it all on and got out all the stuff. And got out some of the stuff that I inherited. You know, from my mother or from my sister. I don't know. And just, just put the things out and... But I don't have too many Christmas decorations because, you know, it is what it is. And I'm sure there's more stuff buried in there somewhere. But this is what I found. And somebody said that, uh, I'm sorry I haven't commented back, but I did read your comments. And I appreciate each and every one of them. They do mean, each one of those ornaments means something to me. And it does have a story. To each one and I, uh, I I bring this up because I called my uh, daughter and I told her I said it's only a seven minute video let the kids sit down you know and they can watch and it'll get them inspired you know to do yours because she was looking for her Christmas tree she couldn't even find the Christmas tree mind you they have an acre of land and she has all kinds of storage but anyway so we were all on the same page it's, we're getting this up this week you know and uh, so the kids sat down there and watched, and I'm listening while they're they're watching and listening. And the kids are like, "Oh, that's pretty," or "This is pretty." And my daughter's going, "Yeah, we had that in the family a long time," you know. So I know that some of those sparked, you know, she, why she recognized those or whatever. But yeah, each one pretty much tells a story and. And it's a progression of my life and my kid's life. and Yeah, I almost cried. Yeah, I did. I'm almost crying talking to you right now, but we're not going there. I just, no. It's supposed to be a happy time of year, and my parents loved Christmas, and, you know, they were devout Christians and just loved having Christmas and the whole, the whole shebang. And whatever that entailed. So I grew up pretty much with all that around. But. Yeah. So. But we got that up. I got all that stuff. You know. Put away where I can find it. So I can put it away. When it's time to put it away. We hope. <laughs> yeah. You know how that goes in my life. But. You know. It got me to thinking. That I really need to take everything. Out of that room. And reorganize. And straighten that up because you know there's just too much stuff in that room uh, stuff we do collect some crap don't we i'm telling you one year as well since i've been here my daughter and i went out to look we have creeks a couple of creeks around here and places where uh, the arkansas river comes through and we went out looking for pieces of wood and I was going to uh, put some little, you know, drill holes and put little lights on it so I could set it out. I don't know where I thought I was going to set it, you know, or plug it in because there's not an pl outside plug. There may be, but I have no dang idea where it's at. But make some kind of decoration. Well, that wood's still in there. And that was two or three years ago, so it should be pretty dried out by now. But we never got to that project, and... Uh, couldn't really find any great gnarled type pine 
if you will. I've had that more so in uh, Kansas when I left, lived there. And uh, I had some beautiful pieces, but I didn't bring them uh, with me because it wouldn't fit in my little car. We were lucky to get in there what we got in there. Short of tying everything to the roof, and that wasn't happening. So, you know, now I'm collecting pieces of wood. And my daughter's husband um, works at the landfill, and it's close to where there's some trees and stuff. You know, like people will clean out brush and fallen wood and stuff. So I could go out there and see if there was any pieces of wood. You know, we'd just have to have the, the proper vehicle to go out there but and we can't seem to get there and the water was so high that uh, we haven't been down there you know this fall looking for some wood so I may or may not find any but it, I just thought that was kind of a cool idea to take a p big old piece of wood and drill some holes in it and put you know one of those little 25 light um, strings you know into the holes and perhaps um, take some uh, oh what do you call that stuff polyurethane I have the worst time trying to remember polyurethane and uh, coating it but we haven't got that far yet so you know it is what it is but I like to find old tree stumps and stuff, and my daughter does have four-wheel drive, so I guess I should have tightened it a little bit more. It's kind of loose for some reason. <coughs> <coughs> Molly's up there perched on her, her perch. I gotta get my color here. I put this all away last night, and by the time 10 o'clock hit, I had stitched. Hush, please. Hey, there's nobody out there, really. Whoops, sorry. My bad. i got to figure out what color I'm using. 3829, and that's what I thought. It's kind of a nice little mustardish color. But anyway, so by the time I got to Quaker Christmas... I started in and finished that whole little outline. I've got to move over. Sorry, guys. Get you in the center. I didn't want to center well. Um, I got to move my chair. All right. Okay. Sorry. Now that I've made you all totally sick. By the time I hit that, I got the outside outline of that one Quaker motif, and. Then I started on the center, and I screwed it up twice. I said, we're done. Yeah, so I had to frog out twice with that red. It's not really fun. And then this morning, I was looking at patterns and wanted to just start something small. And I went on patterns, freepatterns.com, if you haven't ever been there. They have some free patterns. And I think you have to sign in or something like that. But not a big deal. But they do have PDFs. Is where I was going with that and some free stuff and they have free stuff for um, all the seasons you know and I was looking through it and then I was looking through magazine I don't know I just get kind of wishy-washy you know I want to start something but no I don't want to go looking for all the threads and yeah it gets to be that way what can I say irritating so yeah I've been looking for probably, oops, let me see something. Something went wrong right there. Do you see it? Yep, I do. I don't know, I was trying to make a, what do you call it? A fiveplexer. Looks like a bingo card there. Crap. It goes over too. Let's not mess it up. See, I can talk and mess it up. Oh, and of course I got the wrong stupid scissors. There we go. That one doesn't go there. I have to stitch over something. But anyway. It's 
So yeah, I was looking at stuff, looking at stuff that I had, and what did I want to do, and oh, jeez, nothing, nothing, just, it just, so I ended up with this, because I like stitching on it, it's fairly easy, it does have the DMC colors, and it also has, let me look, Weeks Dye Works, yeah, Weeks Dye Works is what the beginning one was, and it also has a conversion, that's what I love about this book and they use some of the same colors for their patterns which is really nice I like that so yay so we just been doing little or nothing but stitching watched a little bit of Grey's Anatomy, and then I could play a little solitaire just to get my mind off of it. You know, it just, just in and out and up and down. What did I have for dinner? Oh, I made uh, enchiladas, yes, not yesterday, the day before. So I have a big old pan of enchiladas. They're probably going to go into the freezer today. So, because I'm a little sick of them. And I had sour cream and some kind of guacamole I bought that was pre-made because I didn't want to have to make anything. The enchiladas were enough. But, yeah. And I don't know why I made a big old pan. I can't even begin to tell you. I just like enchiladas. And I make them with corn tortillas. My late boyfriend liked them with uh, flour tortillas, but I'm not much for I like my flour tortilla. To me, that's a burrito. You know what I mean? So, just just the way I am. Oh, for pity's sake, would you get in the hole? So that's all I've been working on. I had to rest after I got that tree together. I'm telling you. It was, it was fun. I like doing the video for you guys. and That way you get to see a little bit of what's going on here I wonder if my daughter got her tree up or not who knows so I think she found it fine found the tree but I don't know whether she made any progress so we all have artificial trees none of us are getting a real tree that just won't be happening ever again in my lifetime I don't want to mess with the needles, and I don't like them. I never did, really. I liked artificial trees, because you could get, I have to look, um, a decent um, artificial tree, you know, now. And those little guys up on the, um, the top of the curtain, those things are probably 70 years old, and I took them out. I keep them wrapped up, you know, and I got some nice lightweight plastic like you'd get from, uh, whoops, push that through the wrong place, from the dry cleaners, so it's kind of a limp plastic, lightweight, and they're starting to really shed. They just are losing it completely. As you can see, they've only got one eye apiece, and they kind of look like pirates sitting up there, but... It's something that I had, I got from my grandmother about, God, well, she had them prior to me, you know, like from the time I was born. I think there was two sets of them. And I have no idea where she got them. Um, they used to be on our curtain things the top of the curtains when I was little and when I got married somewhere there along the line she gave them to me and I just loved them but I took them out and they were just shedding like crazy so I thought I'd take them out take a picture put them back in the box because otherwise they're just going to completely disintegrate and they're made out of some kind of real heavy gauge wire I have to see where I'm at here um you know, like twisted wire, about as thick as, um, like a coat hanger, 
and then they had that fuzzy I don't know it's made out of paperish kind of thing that makes it look like tinsel or whatever it was weird so heaven knows how old they really are you know because my grandmother had a house before I was born um, and then when my grandfather passed away my parents moved me and them into my grandmother's house And, uh, so they just combined households and all that crap. And she lived with us from the time I was, what was that, two years old until, well, she always lived in my parents' house once I got gone, but for my whole time growing up. So, yeah. Okay, now I thought we'd get real festive. And we're going to start this. Silly. Hang on, I gotta figure out what color. Okay. Two. And I'll show you where we're at and what we're gonna. There's a, a motif here. So we're gonna be starting this little motif. And I may have to start here just to get it where it needs to be, you know, and everything. It is so cool. I just love this. And their colors are always so. I don't know, I tried to get as close as I could to the colors. But and we'll I gotta move it. Hang on. I gotta turn backwards and, and come on, please. I love oh, I was supposed to show these plastic bags. These are now this one, I don't know why it does, it's not written on it, but usually I will write on it what the pattern is and you know, say It'll say tiny treetops, whatever, by Blackbird, and then it'll say it's on, oh, what is this? It looks like Country French Cafe Mocha, 16 count. And then I won't put the, if it's more than one color, I won't put the, uh, you know, like I won't list all the, the colors that are in it. I write that down on my, see, I've made a, a copy of the actual page so I don't screw up the book because you know that wouldn't be happening but I got these from Amazon and I think there are 10 in each set and these are the bigger ones because I wanted something that was gonna hold you know like consider the lilies so they are 13 inches across and counting the zipper like nine and a half so they're they're pretty huge now you can buy a sorry I forgot to turn that down um, a set that has like several graduated sizes or you can just buy this one and it has ten of this size does that make sense I hope I made that right and then somewhere hang on I gotta put on my glasses here I can't see yes I stitch with my glasses off it's sad but true let me see if I can find it. Well, crap. You know, there's just so much stuff on this stupid... Here we go. On this table. Now, I got these also from um, Amazon. And let me take one out here. Sorry. Let me go back. Oh, no. That's forward. Okay, we are back. Oh, sure. Let's zip it close. And I can't begin to tell you, maybe 10 in this. And these are little bitty um, Ziploc bags. And no, they don't have to match. But they're all in red and yellow, green, blue, whatever. I gave one to my grandson because he needed a pencil case for the time being until they could find one. That was during the hoopty of trying to get everybody to school. Oh, jeez. I'm telling you. And it also has a little thing here you could slip a piece of paper into it so you keep your your thread in it and usually not usually not not very often ish how's that do I put them on bobbins I'm trying I'm trying people at least I can get them into this so like I started using this color so I'll put this color in and then when I start another color I'll put it in here and that keeps it separate from the 
the ones you haven't used and you know, oh, well, I've used that color before. Oh, okay. So I can just go right on, you know, with that color. And I keep tried to keep one of these in it. I bought, I don't know if I bought one or two of these, um, but I'd like to get some more. So each project bag has one in it. And that way you can put this aside and use this beside you and you don't have this big old clunky thing next to you but it keeps the book and the patterns and my copies and my thread so that is how I keep all my projects separated hang on gotta move that back so I really need to clean this desk off it, it's it's a nightmare it's a nightmare and I'm gonna have to find a new box I have a box that I keep my uh, threads in I mean, not the threads, my needles, because I buy them like this. Oh, here, we can move that. It's kind of shiny. Um, and it's just kind of small. I got a thing, it's about the size of a pencil box. I don't know where it's at right now for some reason. Oh, it's way over there. But I got one at the thrift store for like 50 cents, probably, or, or less. You know, it never spend too much money at the thrift store I can always find some kind of deals and stuff and it's just not big enough so we're just gonna have to get something else to keep all my needles in because they're kind of scattered all over this and no I've never used the bone needles that I bought I would like to but you know they're just not handy when I get ready to start something and I have more I like the peacemaker needles the best I got some DMC needles and they're just a little bit more than uh, than the others I mean I'd say they're all comparable and how much they cost but these I really like and they're small and I use size 28 normally I did buy some 24s and some uh, 26s for um, For the 18 count, and I was going to use, um, well, I am, I'm planning on it. Hang on, I'm looking for color. Uh, for the, uh, oh, God, what is it called? Sulky. So, um, I'm going to try to use Sulky thread on my next, um, what do you call it? My next ornament in the, um, the thing in the ornament cell. I don't know. I, I like I like the trailer. And then there was another one. It's Santa Claus and then there's like a row of little houses. And I thought I could do the houses in different colors because it's just really not gonna matter. And um maybe if I can put it on 14 count. I think I've got some 14 count. So that won't take sulky but I was looking at this and I thought maybe I could back stitch in some little lights on the houses. I thought that would look cool. So, look for that. Yeah. I like that pattern. I like the little camper. I thought that was kind of cute. So, I don't know which one I'm going to do. I haven't decided. And I wait till the last minute. Because, you know, I'm evidently a Libra. And I can't make up my mind to save my soul. <sighs> Some days. And then others, my brain says... Don't think, just do. And that that's kind of been what I've been doing for most of the year. Is don't think about it, just do it. You know, because sometimes I think a person can overthink things. So, of course we get a knot in it. What the heck? How do you get a knot in it? Jeez, let it, let it fly. Okay. So, yeah. So that that's some plans. I have to find something heavy enough to hold that puppy down. So yeah, that's where we've been at. All right, so we need to come down here. Did I not sew that? Oh dear. Where am I? Oh, it's this. Okay, so we're going to have to start higher than that. So we'll go up here. And we'll come down to the second and the Z. 
I love trying to find your place. I'm telling you. Come over. This will take a hot moment. Hang on, guys. Just start in the beginning of this one. This is uh, Thread Color 221. My favorite red. My absolute favorite red. Just love it. Hopefully it'll be... This won't be as muted as theirs, but it'll be fine. It will be fine. Haven't looked at a lot of patterns other than on... Uh, what do you call it? On the free pattern place, I've been watching what everybody else is working on and this and that and seeing all your stuff. Yeah, I'm just in love with it all. I have to curb myself because it's Christmas-ish time or I'll be messed up for Christmas. So Sometimes you just got to put on the brakes and say enough is enough. Not saying that I won't ever get anything else again, but I think this is 14 count. This should, must be that 14 count country French cafe mocha that I used on, uh, that I'm using on Quaker Sampling 3. Because I had to cut the bottom off of it, and it's a nice long little skinny piece, but it'll fit. It will fit. And it's nice and easy to stitch on. So, yeah, I did all this within, what, a couple hours? I just kept going. Like, okie dokie. Some days, not so good at that. Oh, itch. So I don't know what I'm having for dinner tonight. I've got some pork chops in there or, or pork steak. May have some pork steak. I got some nice mashed potatoes to go with that. And some spinach. I love spinach. Spinach is my vegetable, I swear, of the year. I've been eating more spinach than this year than I have any other year because I'm not into the green beans and I only use corn when I make soup but yeah and I like carrots I like all the vegetables except for Brussels sprouts so yep but it just seems to be what I am using now see that didn't take very long okay okay it's another one of those Little motifs with flowers on it. You know, I expect to screw up at any moment. You know how that goes. Me and flower motifs and blackbird, I'm telling you, stuff happens. But hey, we're getting there. This has a bunch of little buds to it. But I just felt like having a relaxing video and just not not getting too carried away. Something that is actually going well. I had to frog a couple pieces out of this, but that's only because I'm so crazy I can't count. But, I mean, it wasn't anything. I mean, I, it's not like I have to go back. But, hey... And I got tired of using that green. So we just went on to something else. And I can't begin to tell you if this is a quarter of the pattern or or half of the pattern. It's longer than it is up and down, of course. But I don't know. So far, so good. I imagine there's another big, like, full page. This is more of, like, a quarter of the edge see it's not very big so yep drop my needle <sighs> I 
But some days I can just stitch forever and not make a mistake, and then other times, not so much. I just get too excited, I think, to, to stitch it, and then it all goes to hell. Believe me, it does. It just... Just... But I can't stitch fast enough to get it done. But we're getting there one little bit at a time. And these little flowers they're not too bad so we'll see maybe I should have picked a different red but not happening we're just sewing it and I think it'll be pretty I really do how wrong can you go with a blackbird I mean please it's right up there everybody swears by prairie schooler and you know I can't stand their patterns I just I don't know what it is I just I don't know some days all right, guys. Well, I think that that is going to be about it for today. I think what I'm going to do is take that out and show you what progress we've made. Yes, it's one of these. I like these the best. They're a pain in the neck because you got to unscrew it and take it undone, and it has a little edge. But they've been the best ones for holding things in place, you know, when you're you're stitching. And it doesn't move up and down. You, you know, you can get it as taunt as you want, of course. But it stays taunt. Does that make sense? So there we go. So i got to make those flowers over there. Or flowers or whatever. I, whoops, I missed a whole... Look at I missed a whole line right there. I'll have to add that color. No wonder that looked weird. Hmm. Imagine. All right, guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and please hit the bell, and that way you will know when my next video comes out. Y'all have a good rest of your uh, Sunday, good rest of your weekend. Stay safe, stay healthy, and wash your hands, and keep stitching. We will see you tomorrow. God bless. Bye-bye.